here, folks. Today I am going to make camarones al ajillo. <laughs> that shrimps with the garlic sauce. But one of the best ones you've ever had, I promise. We got a little bit of olive oil going on right here. And we got some black tiger shrimps. We're going to put them right in there and we're going to cook them. And I promise you, pay attention. Because I promise you this is going to become one of your favorite recipe for shrimp, for scallop, for anything you want. You can eat it like that. I'm going to serve it today on crostinis. Or you can make that exact sauce on top of a yellow tail snapper, on top of a grouper, on top of a sole. Oh, it is unbelievable. Little salt and pepper. Now I'm using black tiger shrimps because I love the texture. You can use any kind of shrimp you want, any kind of scallop you want. Shrimps do not take very long to cook. Just a couple of minutes on each side. Look how beautiful they are. We're going to use some Thai chili pepper. Look, I got some hole for you right there. Be careful, guys. Those are very, very strong. So just use, look, I'm not even going to use a hole. I'm, really, like I got, I'm just going to use about a quarter of those. Those are like scotch bonnet. Ooh, they're very, very, very hot. We're going to reduce the heat. We're going to put a little bit of lemon juice. We're going to put a little garlic. Remember, alajillos, that means with garlic. And we got the garlic going on right here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of white vermouth. You're not going to believe how easy that is to do, folks. A little bit of white vermouth. Okay. Now, we have some lemon juice in there. We have white vermouth. And a little bit of Thai chili pepper. And at this point, you can put Two or three of them, look, I got beautiful crostinis going on right in there. You can put two or three of them right here. Oh, yes. You can put them all over the place. I think three is going to be enough. And those I'm going to eat later. Just going to make a nice presentation. Now, the key is to let this reduce just a little bit. Just for a second, we're going to put a little bit of parsley or a little cilantro. Whatever it is you want to put in here, just let that reduce just for one little second. And I'm going to show you how to make the most wonderful, wonderful lemon butter sauce you've had in a long time. This is to die for. Here we go. Turn the heat off. Then take a little bit of soft butter and do me a favor. Put some uh, butter that has no salt on it, okay? Just unsalted butter. The heat is turned off. Look, 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 look at that sauce. Oh, I promise you this is going to become one of your favorite appetizers in the world. We're going to pour this right in here, just like that. Look, just put this right in here. Holy macaroni. If you could be here right now and smell this delicious, delicious fragrance, the little bit of butter sauce is going to soften just so lightly the crustini underneath, and I promise you it is going to be a phenomenal experience. You are going to love it.